As I mentioned before, one of the key components of a great dosing system is not just the hardware, but the software that should make it easy for you to set it up and utilize it on a day-to-day -day basis. This is accomplished by the Neptune Systems Dose using Apex Fusion, our cloud-based service. So when you log into Apex Fusion and you go and after you've connected the dose to your system, uh, you'll find the tiles up in your unused bin. One is uh, tile is for the dose itself and what, what it's been dosing for the day. Uh, and then the actual outlets for those couple of pumps. So we have these two pumps, and I've already configured them in this particular example, but we'll drag them down here just so you can see how it works. Now, in this case, I have a dose being used for a water change. And if we wanted to set up that water change, we would just go to the gear, this case for the new salt water. We would get the dosing schedule for a 24-hour day, we could click on the gear here, say modify the interval. And in this case, we're starting the dosing period from midnight and going through 11.59 uh, in the evening. We're adding water and we're doing 3,000 milliliters and that is 3 liters of water change. So in this case, 21 liters of water for the week. Now, we can also see what that means in terms of how it's going to split up the doses. So the really neat part about the apex and with the dose is you tell it how much you want to dose in this case 3000 milliliters and it says every 12 minutes I'm going to dose 25 milliliters I'm going to do that at a pump speed of 7 milliliters a minute because the apex and the dose can pump uh, multiple speed levels uh, depending on how much fluid has to be pumped and over what time so it figures all of this out for you automatically and all you had to do was put the amount of fluid you wanted to dose and over what time period. Now the next interesting thing you see here is the dose uh, tile which shows how much uh, those pumps have been dosing over the last period of time, in this case uh, a number of hours. So if we click on the name of that particular dose it's going to show us exactly what it's done over the last 24 hours and in this case we've got 11 pages of information so we go to the last page we can see here that it has dosed uh, 25 milliliter water change and we also have alkalinity and uh, calcium on here that we've dosed 0.1 milliliter now one of the the best benefits of having a dosing system like the dose integrated into the apex is that you can align the information from your dosing schedule against other parameters in your aquarium. To do that, we simply go up to the graphing button up here. I can give you an example by going down to, let's say, let's say pH, and we click the compare, and now we can look to see what the alkalinity and the new salt water looks like over the same time period on the graph. So that first example I gave was uh, using the dose for an automated water change. But the most common thing people do with the dose is two-part dosing of alkalinity and calcium supplements. Let me show you an example here where you don't necessarily want to dose alkalinity all day long. And let's see how we can configure that. As you see, it's dosing all day long right now, and I want to modify that. Let's say it starts at midnight but now it's going to stop at 7 it's going to add and we'll leave it at 10 milliliters you'll see that now it only goes to 7 a.m. on the 24 hour scale and we're going to add one more interval towards the end of the day and we're going to modify that one and that one will come on say at 3 o'clock and go to the end of the day and still do 10 milliliters so now we have it set up for our alkalinity. Now we'd go ahead and send that to the apex. And let's go back to the dashboard and now do calcium. Now calcium I want to do in between that time of the alkalinity. So I'll modify this one and make it go from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
and we're going to have that one, let's say, do 20 milliliters. And now you'll see that that one is in the middle of the day in between the two alkalinity doses, so they're not dosing at the same time. So you can see it's very easy to set up alkalinity and calcium dosing with the dose, and again, you'll see that it figures out exactly how to dose that 20 milliliters. It's going to dose 20 milliliters in 22 doses. Each dose is going to be 0.9 except the last one, which will be 1.1, and it's going to do it at 7 milliliters a minute. So as you can see, having the dose on your system makes it real simple to set up both two-part dosing as well as automated water changes or dosing many different things in your aquarium.